Meteorologist Colin Myers back again. And Colin, I don't know how many ways I can say it's hot, but yeah. it's hot. Yeah. And we're going to be hot for the rest of the week, right? Yes, welcome to our job once we get to Texas right. summer every day. And you know what? It seems like this kind of snuck up on us, right? It was kind of nice a little bit through April and May, had all those thunderstorms coming through. All of a sudden, here we are finishing up June, and now our first heat advisories, and the heat is really going to turn up, as you heard. Uh, right now, uh, not great news that it's almost 6 o'clock and the heat index is 102. And as Amelia just said, a few more cumulus clouds like this, that would be helpful. I think we will see that. Can we see a drop of rain? I don't know. I'll show you what I think coming up in just a second. So first, we've issued weather alerts for tomorrow and Tuesday because the heat advisory issued by the Weather Service goes into effect at noon tomorrow through 7 o'clock Tuesday as things heat up. I've had to up this feels like temperatures near 107 and then up to possibly 108 later in the week. Limit time outdoors, of course. Drink plenty of water and take breaks in the shade. If you're going to be out and about, just watch it carefully. This is going to be even a, quite a bit of a difference from last week. So 99, then 100, uh, so actual air temperature hitting 100. But then you add in the heat index with that Gulf moisture and how humid we've been. You notice this. This is a little different. 107 next three days, and then I put 108 for Thursday. Uh, so we're getting closer to almost higher criteria here. Heat advisory, yes. But later in the summer, it's certainly possible we see what's called an excessive heat warning. That's a step up. Uh, but this is plenty enough for me. I don't know about you. All right, temperatures out there right now. Upper 90s still. Look, Mesquite still reading 100. Dallas, Grand Prairie, Fort Worth, all in the upper 90s. Addison, 97 as well. Let's zoom out. 97, Central Collin County, up to 100 in Sherman. Look at this, 195 Cleburne, Bridgeport 96. Now, not great news here is that the lowest we get overnight tonight, upper 70s to lower 80s, barely. And those winds out of the south mean this is going to be very humid. So uh, we'll squeeze whatever relief we can get, I think, later in the week, maybe dipping further into the 70s just a bit, but very hot and humid. All right, remember that tropical system, Alberto, that just made landfall south of the Texas border down in Mexico? Well, this was pretty interesting to see the year start this way with a another system trying to form in the loop current of the Gulf and feeding off that moisture. This one has now been decreased. The Hurricane Center down to a 20% chance of formation. It's not going to form, but they do that just to denote it. You can see it's made landfall here, the weak low, if you will, or tropical wave. But this followed in the wake of Alberto pretty quickly, and I was hoping maybe it scooted a little bit further to the north and we'd squeeze some moisture, but you see that high pressure kind of keeping this further to the south. So what we're going to have to wait for is that high to slide slide off to the west. So here's your upper level pattern. You've seen this. So this acts as what we call a ridge. This is high pressure. Basically, all the flow of activity, the jet stream, is treating this like a hill. So we may get, if that slides further enough, far enough west, we may squeeze out a little activity sliding around that hill. Let's look at high res future cast. Here you go. You can already see it. A little more cloud cover late tomorrow, perhaps along an east of 35, maybe a shower. That I don't think so there, but if we see it, we'd be happy to see it. Now let's go a little further, as I talked about earlier, as that high pressure slides off to the west. Perhaps we can see maybe some overnight storms try to make it here late Tuesday into Wednesday morning from Oklahoma. They'd be a lot weaker than that, but we'll see. Hey, a 10% looks pretty good. So weather alert tomorrow on Tuesday, and then we really turn that heat up and the heat indices as well. And then perhaps Saturday, Sunday, maybe it moves far enough west. I've up chances a little bit. Don't look now. There's a 20% chance there <laughs> on Sunday. Amelia, we'll cross our fingers on that one.